So just imagine you're walking through a park and then suddenly, a giant tower of steaming water shoots straight up into the sky. What is that? Well, it's not a water fountain. It's not a fire hydrant. It is a geyser. And Yellowstone National Park has over 500 of them. Some are very small. Some like this are massive, but they all have one thing in common. They are super, super hot. But why is the water so hot? And how do the geysers work? Well, grab your hiking boots because we're headed deep into the steamy world of Yellowstone's geysers. Well, picture a tea kettle. When the water inside gets really hot, steam builds up. If you don't take it off the stove, it starts whistling as steam rushes out. And that's kind of how geysers work, except instead of a little whistle, some of them explode like nature's own fire hose. Unlike regular hot springs, which just bubble, geysers actually erupt, sending boiling water shooting into the air. Some can reach as high as a 20 story building. Now here's where things get really cool. Well, actually really hot. Yellowstone's geysers wouldn't exist without something hidden beneath the ground. A super volcano. <sighs> yep, super volcano. But don't worry, it's not erupting. Well, at least not anytime soon. This underground volcano is filled with magma, which is melted rock that's hotter than lava in a pizza oven. Now that magma heats up water deep underground, kind of like a giant pot on a stove. So here's how it works. Rain and snow seep into the ground and travel deep, deep below the surface. The magma heats up the water until it's boiling, way hotter than any bathtub. The pressure builds up as more and more hot water and steam get trapped underground. And then, boom! When the pressure gets too high, all that hot water explodes upward. And that is a geyser eruption. And guess what? Some geysers in Yellowstone reach 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, that's almost twice as hot as boiling water on your stove. Whew, that is very hot. Now, not all geysers are the same. Some erupt every few minutes, while others stay quiet for years before suddenly going wild. Here are a few of the most famous ones in Yellowstone. Old Faithful, the most famous geyser ever in the world. It erupts every 90 minutes, like clockwork, shooting water 185 feet into the air. Steamboat Geyser. This one's a record breaker. It is the tallest active geyser on Earth, reaching over 300 feet. That is as high as the Statue of Liberty. <gasps> Whoa! But here's the thing, it's unpredictable. Sometimes it erupts twice in a week, other times it stays quiet for months or even years. Grand Geyser. That erupts less often, but when it does, it puts on a huge show, shooting water over 200 feet high for up to 10 minutes. Yellowstone Park has hundreds more, each with its own unique style. Some bubble, some hiss, and some send water flying. Now, have you ever seen pictures of Yellowstone's geysers? Here they are. The water isn't just clear. It's bright blue, it's orange, and sometimes it's even yellow. So what is going on? Well, that's because of the bacteria, but not the kind that makes you sick. It is these tiny microbes that love living in the boiling hot water. 
Some turn the water blue, while others create streaks of orange, yellow, and even green. These colorful bacteria thrive in heat where no other life can survive. The geysers may look cool, but they're seriously dangerous. That water is hot enough to cook food instantly. And the ground around the geysers is thin and fragile. It can crack right under your feet. And that's why park rangers have some important rules. Stay on the pass. The ground around geysers might look solid, but it's not. It's like walking on a thin crust over boiling water. Don't touch the water. It may look fun to splash in, but at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, it's not a hot tub. It's a scalding trap. Watch from a safe distance. When geysers erupt, they shoot boiling water and steam into the air. So it's best to stay back and enjoy the show safely. Yellowstone's rangers are there to protect both the geysers and you, the people who visit. And after all, these natural wonders have been around for thousands of years, and we want to keep them erupting for thousands more. Whoa! Yellowstone's geysers are nature's own fireworks. Steaming, bubbling, and blasting water high into the air. And it's all thanks to an underground super volcano. So the next time you see a tea kettle whistling, just imagine deep underground, Yellowstone's geysers are getting ready to put on a show. We'll see you there at Yellowstone.